born, I've been ready for this. Since like nine five, I've been eager for this. Talent on the rise, I'm consistent with this. Trophy is the prize, ain't no gimmicks with this. Okay, now what's left on them? Told you I'ma flex on them. I did it all subtle, ooh, and then I hit that exit on them. Gotta blame my faith, cause these eyes ain't got nothing on them. I secured it safe for the cradle, I ain't dropping nothing. Ooh. Only winning is exception, ain't no truce. Ain't no, truce. ain't no dub, ain't no L on my crew. Ooh. Only winning is exception on my crew. Yeah. Ain't no dub, ain't no L. I use a dub, I'ma win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Yeah, 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 I'ma act a fool with this. Okay, uh. Just a moment ago in the heart of New Orleans, folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these fans are ready for football as their Saints get ready to do battle with the Minnesota Vikings. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in Week 16. Returning it, Johnson. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He was a huge play the there right off the bat. 46 the yards on the ground. First down, Vikings. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Gordon. Of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24 yard line. Two yards that time, a stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. Second and eight at the 24 yard line. Last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Working out of the gun. Cousins. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Cameron Jordan in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. Third down. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. Now they run from the gun with Gordon. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. So Cousins heads to the Vikings sideline and on is Dan Bailey to try the field goal. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. Bailey's kick is good. 
had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. Yeah, one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that. Those explosives that we talk about, that allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's we'll see how the rest of the game goes. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. advantage of the key is calling it in the right situation knowing when it exists to go to it they did exactly that they've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game just looking down at the sideline now their defense is like man can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays give us a break back out there hey man give that water break and get on out there and play Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. As the season winds down and you look at them in totality, you know, the offense has struck. The defense has been pretty good, so I would imagine the changes this offseason may be more on the offensive side of the ball. And this is where we always hear the term complementary football because, as you noted, the defense has played well enough for them to win games, and the offense has held them back. So they've got to reward that defense by improving on offense. I don't know if you make a change at quarterback, running back, tight end. It doesn't matter. Get better players better system so they can play to the standards of the defense and the win column will result. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Sets up the screen to Gordon. They find some open field here. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. A gain of 21 yards. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. But the Vikings and Saints, you might recall, they battled in the wild card round a season ago, and it was the guys in purple who came in and pulled off the upset with Kirk Cousins finding Kyle Rudolph in the end zone in overtime to sew up a 26-20 win. Makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. And it's third down. He 
He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on to punt. The all-pro Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 turn and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10 22 yard line the Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started and 10. Here's Kaepernick. Out of the backfield. That's complete to Kamara. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him the first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there and they just got a nice first down. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. He was brought down five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five at the 41-yard line. Now Kaepernick operating on the bootleg. This is complete to Michael Thomas. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It'll be a 20-yard gain on the play, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. 39-yard line. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. 6-3 is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Kaepernick. And that could be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Looking long for Thomas. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown, and pick it off, just as we saw there. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. He was tackled. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. 
From the 27, Cousins. He'll find his running back. It's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First down, Minnesota. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll run with Madison. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Alexander Madison, the Viking. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Third down, Cousins. They go screen, it's complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Forty-four on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Yards on the return, and possession will switch hands first and ten at their own 23 yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does a no good to go back. So, well, you know, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Ten at the 43-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Deep ball for Goodwin. Man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And he is down deep into Minnesota territory. A big-time play there for New Orleans. 52 yards. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Kamara, the ball carrier. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising. They wanted people getting to the ball as fast as possible. The lighter shift your defensive backs allow you that opportunity. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard on the sneak, not what he was hoping for, and it's third down. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Kaepernick now on the keeper. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. So call that no gain on the sneak, and now there's still a yard short here on fourth. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. Check, 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 check. 
two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. They'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. They took it all the way to the one, but in the end, opt for three. Just doesn't sound right, does it? If you get all the way down to the one-yard line, isn't that supposed to be a play in the end zone that culminates in a touchdown for your team? And per usual, it felt like the guys on the sideline wanted to go ahead and go for it. Of course they did, but of course head coach, it defers back to him, and he made the decision, let's get three out of this, make sure we get some points. Vikings now to start their next drive. Yeah, it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Flushed out right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. Throwing on second and long. Cousins. And that's taken in. It's B.C. Johnson. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. A gain there of 21 yards. A gain of 21 So first and 10 now from the 30. First down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. again. Open man here is Conklin. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. 48 yard line. Four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six. He'll give it to Gordon out of the shotgun. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Yeah. 
Here's second and ten. Cousins. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done... And now this is intercepted, my goodness. the way you envision things to start out the third quarter one play and already a turnover it's interesting you and i were talking with the coach and he talked about how at halftime as a play caller he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half not just the one that he operated off of to start the game nowhere on that script did it have that result and he's taken down but not before he gets this across the 25 yard line the drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Minnesota. They go back to Gordon here on first down. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Demario Davis makes the tackle. He led the Saints in that category in 2019. Brings up second and eight. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Cousins. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. On third down, this is Melvin Gordon, and he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that would look like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Gordon. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Gain on the play. Second and ten at the 40-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They run it here with Gordon. They'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. Sheldon ranks. And there's a run to be happy with. Good solid yardage. They'll take that anytime you hand the ball to a back. Third down, Gordon. 
And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the well, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. Take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. And throw right side taken in here to start this drive. A good pickup there, 21 yards. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll throw out wide, complete to Sanders. And get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Two big plays run in succession as this one goes for 27. That's how you draw up the run-pass option right there. You get a chunk play out of it. And you know quarterbacks love to throw the RPOs because oftentimes they're in-breaking routes, but receivers love it even more. The ball gets to them quickly, allows them to put some moves on in the secondary. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. They'll go option to the short side. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. It's fourth down. Son for the field goal. A 48 yard attempt. And Lutz puts this one through. And the lead stretches to nine. It's now 12 to three. So good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points. Either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. 
They keep it on the ground. Again, Gordon. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Another tote for Gordon. He's been busy this afternoon. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Vikings in possession of the football, but they need some points. They're trailing here to start the fourth. First down, it's Gordon, and he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Gordon, the ball carrier. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 40 now on second down, Cousins. It's brought in complete. It's John Brown. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Here's Gordon. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. But officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And 11. At the 40 second and 11. <laughs> Throwing his cousins. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Janoris Jenkins. And his crew will take over at their own 45 yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put a mild lead. Look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Staying on the ground on first with Camaro. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Now Kaepernick throwing on second down. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. And a nice gain at 21 yards. First, you're going to blitz. Likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows who the ball is before the defender does. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. season because oh, here we are in December giving. right it is the season of giving maybe for his own sake after the game he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw 
Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly, down two scores. Now a dump off here complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Pass. Complete to Miller. Good position to be in here, second and inches. It's second and inches at the 30-yard line. They go play action. Cousins. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. In the pocket, chucked it away. Flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field. Have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. They're going for it. Here's Madison. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Two yards. And the Vikings. Back to the ground on first down. Here's Madison. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Madison, the ball carrier. Give him four yards on the play, and that will lead us into the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the 35 on second down, Cousins. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he goes out right around the 39. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Third down. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Incomplete. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. Now Kaepernick. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. They fake the give. Now Kaepernick. There goes a deep ball. In zone. Intercepted. Maybe the time point they need. The all-pro quarter, Tredavious White picks it off. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, 
it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. The only people are really happy about those picks, any fantasy team that has this defense. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. And his throw here is incomplete. Janoris Jenkins with good coverage that time as he was able to get in there and knock it away. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. On third down, Gordon, and he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Looked like it might have been intercepted, but he's out of bounds. And a good thing, too, probably. That would have cost him yardage. But now they'll get the ball back on the turnover on downs. Second and 10, once again from the 28. Hey, 91, 91. Kaepernick to throw. And that is incomplete. The pro over Michael Thomas was the intended receiver at its third down. There is something to a game plan when trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. To throw is Kaepernick. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. Coming on third down. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Oh, on first down, but it winds up in Derek Reed, the former LSU Tiger, making the play on the defensive side. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. second and goal. Oh, Kaepernick's going to throw it. 
and it's incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. But now it's third and goal. What a difference a week makes. Last week, he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week, he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number, not in this league. But a drop under 50%, that just tells me that the defense has spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan to try and chip away at his timing. But it's incomplete. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And they're going to go for this thing. They're not going to leave anything to chance. They're going to roll the dice on fourth and goal. Vikings now to start their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yeah, two score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. from the 21. Cousins to throw. And he's taken down here by the Saints. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. One last shot now for Cousins. going to be their defense that gets the ink in the headlines tomorrow and for good reason they forced five turnovers in this game and while we were watching this game unfold i kept thinking about when we did our training camp tour and something that you noticed along the way just about every camp we visited when the defense got together everyone was doing ball drills defensive linemen linebacker secondary because they understood how vital it was to take the football away and they wanted every opportunity when the ball was knocked free they want all those guys to be familiar with touching the ball so they could pick up the fumble or get the interception and we saw it pay off in this one here yeah five times they'll remember this one so for the Saints, it's a big win here as they move to 11-4 now in the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, it's another loss as they now fall to 4-11. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the... Head to toe designer, designer, drill, little bit, little bit, little bit. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit, little bit, little bit. Lil you ain't talking big. big, get out my way, little bit. Way, little I bit. can't hear the hate, got a lot of it. Lot of Take it. these bands to the bank, let them rot in it. So much ice on me, I wish I had two necks. I got homies that can sleep without two. I got homies that can sleep.